Hey everyone, Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas. And today I wanted to show you how I test my grow media before I put it in my aquaponics system. And this test is just to make sure that I don't have a grip, well, that I don't have any kind of shell or anything like that. Um, because if you get that stuff in your system, if you start getting a lot of uh, shell and stuff in there, like um, calcium and all that, um, it's gonna it's gonna raise your pH like crazy, and um, you want to kill your plants, you want to really uh, do damage to your system. You ride a high pH for a long time, and you're just gonna have horrible growth. You're gonna have, I and mean, a lot of you already. I mean, a lot of you. Some of you guys are gonna have really low pH. Um, and there's ways to buffer that up um, and then you'll need shell actually but uh, a lot of you especially when you're first starting a new system you got really high pH and so the pH matters because the plants if the pH is too high your plants will actually lock out nutrients and you know what let me pour some vinegar in these because this is how you would actually test it you would pour vinegar into each cup okay and uh, you would take some grow media that you were thinking about basically uh, using for your grow beds, you know, your flood and drain grow beds. And so this is three that I've considered, okay? And uh, I'll tell you which one I used at the last, but um, basically this is how you would test it. So you can uh, just add some clear vinegar to it, okay? And I'll show you some up close shots of this, but I just wanted to put this in these and then talk to you about the rest of this stuff. So let me go ahead and fill these up. These may all be pH neutral, but I don't know. So I'm gonna find out. Yeah, these of course float. Cause they're like, they look like cocoa pebbles. <clears throat> all right. So basically um, when, you, when you're doing this, okay, so the reason why you wanna make sure that all your rock is pH neutral, it's because your plants will actually lock out nutrients um, from coming into them basically if the pH is too high. They'll get like this to this point where they'll just lock out all nutrients. The, the nutrients could be in the water, but if the pH is too high, the plants will naturally just lock out the nutrients and you won't, they won't take up the nutrients and then you're gonna get really bad plants. Um, um, so you wanna test these rocks for basically higher pHs. Um, and so this is one way you can do it uh, and this is a, a really easy way actually you would actually just put vinegar in each one and then you kind of wait and watch them and see if they start basically bubbling and uh, I think I'm seeing one that I thought was pH neutral you can't see it on the camera yet but I thought it was pH neutral and it's it's bubbling like crazy but you want to let them sit for a little while because there's a lot of air trapped in a lot of these um, like this I know this stuff's pH neutral but it's bubbling like crazy. And the reason why it is, is because there's so many pores. And if you watch my last video, which is right here, um, my uh, in my last video, I use, I'm using this stuff. It's more expensive, but sometimes you gotta put a little bit of money in to get exactly what you want. Um, and the fact that all these are kind of like rock, uh, this is expanded clay, but the fact that all of them are rock, um, they're gonna last forever. So you, you wanna really consider that when you're buying um, rock and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna take you into for a closer look, but I'm gonna let these sit for a little while and then I'll come back to this, okay? Okay, it's been like 20 minutes, so let's get a better look at these. Let me take this off the my camera stand, my professional camera stand. I'm trying to be a professional now. Yeah, and look at how professional I am. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. So, let me move my, see I even called it a camera stand, I think it's called a tripod, right? <laughs> Alright, so this is gravel that I basically found on the side of the road, and I did consider it because there was so much of it, someone just dumped it on the side of the road, and I was thinking, you know what, I can use that, but I might still go grab it even, because uh, I might uh, make some, you know, because I'm going to be building a lot of grow beds and stuff, so I wanted to build an area where it has gravel. That way it's easier to level everything off. But, as you can see with this one, it is pH neutral. There is absolutely no real bubbles coming up. 
Okay, it's not like fizzing. It would fizz like a soda almost. So this would actually be pH neutral, whatever this gravel is, okay? So this one's actually good. So let's come to the next one here. This is a river rock, but it's a polished river rock. Okay, and I don't really see anything, do you guys? Let's well, see, I see a little bit of bubbles. Watch this in HD, you guys, because you know you can see bubbles and stuff. But, I mean, nearly none. Yeah, little tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Um, but, again, another pH neutral one. Let me tap the glass. So you'd see like bubbles coming up like that, but it would just be constant. Okay, so this would be another good one. The only thing is, is that this one's expensive, and it is, I mean, it's nice and polished rock and stuff, but it's not very easy on the hands. Um, it's a heavy rock, too. So it's really heavy, and when you try to dig down into this stuff, like when you try to dig with your hands and stuff, it actually won't move out of the way. It just gets compacted, and it's really difficult to work with. Um, if you have a comparison, okay? And so this is the stuff I'm working with. Very expensive. Hydrogen, hydrogen or expanded clay. Stuff's really expensive. But again, it covers the two main things that I really like. It's easy on the hands. And it's pH neutral, okay? I should have wrote faces on these two fingers, huh? Um, but it's got the two things that I really want and it's super easy on the hands. It's round balls and stuff And so it basically makes it easy to to dig down into and get roots out and get the gravel out of the roots and stuff like that um, And then it does not buffer your pH up and um, This stuff just works really good, but the one downfall is it is expensive but if you shop around and you buy it in bulk you can usually get a deal, you know, so tell the guy, I want a deal if I buy this many bags, hook me up, hook a brother up, you know, and usually they will, they'll, they'll give you a good price. Um, and so, um, and then it lasts forever though. So, I mean, you're spending the, a lot of the money up front, but in the long run, it just, it lasts forever. You know, all these really do. Okay. But this one all the way around, really easy on the hands and doesn't uh, buffer the pH up. Um, got, it has a, a lot more, um, you know, I should have added this to it too. It has a lot more um, surface area as well. So the expanded clay itself, it has all these little holes in it and that, that's just a perfect environment for bacteria to grow. And one of the, the things that makes a strong system, bacteria. It's not the fish, it's not anything else, it's the bacteria. You want really strong bacteria. So surface area really matters. And I'm gonna be hooking up some stuff to my system uh, that's really going to expand my uh, surface area and Brido Agrotech hooked me up with uh, some zip zip oh, Sorry, someone wanted to get in on the conversation <laughs> But anyways, uh, Bright Agrotech hooked me up with some um, zip towers to test out um, Just to see if I liked them didn't pressure me or anything and um, I'm sure I'm gonna love them. Thank you Nate and all you guys over there Chris. Thank you guys so much I can't wait to do that video. That's why I'm speeding everything up. I'm trying to get all this stuff done for you guys. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be hooking those grow towers up and they uh, have a tremendous amount of grow um, uh, surface area. So anyway, that's a test you can run to check and see if the gravel has high pH. Uh, it'll bubble if it does. So anyway, peace, rice, and Jesus Christ. Later. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.